the incumbent truck enters the site. Post-quality analysis, the truck approaches the incoming waybridge. Wireless truck identification ensues. Sensors determine the truck trailer consist, as well as its exact position on the bridge. The driver is visually alerted to correct positioning on the bridge, or prompted to reposition. Weight of the truck is captured and cross-referenced against requirements of the governing statutory mass management strategy. The driver is visually alerted to any contravention of such legislation and prompted for acceptance of the ensuing action. Truck identification is cross-referenced against the corporate system, extracting commodity type, grade and grower details. The discharge is assigned and visually identified to the driver. A site identification docket is printed for driver collection. The truck departs the incoming waybridge en route to the point of discharge. Wireless identification of the truck ensures correlating commodity details to those of the commodity movement path destination, avoiding any mismatch issues. Equipment is started and destination bay reference recorded. Driver is visually alerted to acceptance to proceed with commodity discharges. Valve controlling commodity movement is opened, awaiting pit low-level indication. Upon completion of discharge process, the truck proceeds to the outgoing waybridge. Wireless truck identification ensues at outgoing waybridge. Sensors determine the truck trailer consist, as well as its exact position on the bridge. The driver is visually alerted to correct positioning on the bridge, or prompted to reposition. Tear weight figure is captured. The driver is visually alerted to net discharge weight and is prompted for acceptance. Upon acceptance, a receipt for entire discharge process is printed. The corporate system is updated with all relevant information. Time statistics are stored locally for future analysis. Truck leaves the weight bridge and exits the site.